Hey, what's up everybody? Sino Sage here for the Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. This is my first LP on the channel. This is my first video on the channel in general. So hi, nice to meet you all checking out the video. If you're watching it as it goes up, you're obviously new to my channel because this is the first video. If you're watching in the future, welcome back. Come to check out some of my old videos. The intro restarts. I'm going to have to click through on that. But uh, I'm going to click through the actual intro before it does that again. Uh, while I describe what a random Uzzenaz lock is, I'm assuming that everyone knows what Pokemon is because it's so popular. But a randomizer is where everything in the game pretty much is random. Uh, you have TMs are random, you have the Pokemon are random, the trainer's Pokemon are random, all that. It's just a really fun way to uh, mix up your adventure. And a Nuzlocke, I will leave the rules down in the description below, but there are three main rules to the Nuzlocke. There is the fact that you can only catch one Pokemon per area. So Route 1, I only get one capture. If I fail it, I don't get anything else. Uh, also, I have to nickname all my Pokemon, that's rule number two. And third, uh, if a Pokemon dies, it's dead forever, which makes the game a lot more challenging. Right here, I'm sorry if my recording messes up, I have to click the Pokeball. Uh, and then it requires the touchscreen, and I don't have access to my touchscreen when I'm recording normally. So it's probably going to look kind of weird on the camera. It might not, I don't know. But, yeah, hopefully you guys are excited to see this. Uh, if you don't know, I'm playing Pokemon Platinum. Uh, Professor Rowan's on the screen, he had his Buneary with him. Uh, Pokemon Platinum is my favorite Pokemon game. Generation 4, it was the first one that I played when I was little on my little Nintendo DS, so it has a special place in my heart, so I figured why not start off the channel uh, with my favorite Pokemon game. We're going to give ourselves a name here, and this is actually the perfect opportunity to introduce myself. My real name is John. Nice to meet you all. Uh, hey, welcome to my channel. I don't know I already said that, but why not say it again? Uh, but yeah, I am very excited to dive into this game. Uh, so you're John, fine name that is. Now this boy, I believe he is your friend. This is my friend, in fact. What might his name be? What might his name be? Uh, we're going to go with the actual name Barry, because that's his name in the uh, in the show and in the actual game. Uh, so, alright, John, the time has come. Your very own grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. That would be really nice. I'd love that. Uh, but let's go leap into the world of Pokemon. Now, if you guys are excited, be sure to leave a like. I should probably go over the schedule. I'm going to be attempting to upload this uh, Monday through Friday. I don't know if that's going to stick. It might end up changing somewhere down the road. But as of right now, I intend to upload it Monday through Friday and be as consistent as I possibly can. Uh, so hopefully you guys will stick around for the whole series. This is going to be part one. This will go up on Monday. Part two will go up on Tuesday and so on and so forth. We can click through this. I have to change the text speed because it's just so gosh diggity darn slow. <laughs> uh, but same channel, same time. Next week, I got it. So we're going to take our first step. And here comes Mr. Impatient running up the stairs talking to me. I don't. I also have a. I have speed up in this game, but it makes the game audio sound incredibly ridiculous and annoying. So I'm going to try and refrain from using speed up as much as I can, unless it is a. Uh, a tedious battle or something like that that I don't want to really sit through the whole thing. But uh, yeah, this guy is going to be waiting outside. $10 million. I unfortunately don't think I have that. But uh, real quick, I'm going to go to my options and set my tech speed to fast. That's a little bit better. Uh, everything else, you know, we'll change the frame to make it look nice. We'll change the nice, ugly looking blue frame. Makes sense. But uh, yeah, we're going to X button over the menu. Thank you. I didn't know that. If you didn't know, I'm playing an emulator. Uh, unfortunately, you can't randomize uh, Pokemon on a regular DS, so this is the next best thing. Uh, but here we're talking to our mom. Uh, that's pretty cool. I've played this game so many times, and unfortunately, I don't think I've beaten it all that many times. When I was a kid, I was actually pretty stupid, and I kept deleting my game every time I got lost because I figured I had broken it or something. So I haven't really beaten this game too many times. Probably like two or three at most. So I'm not really too familiar with the end, but the beginning I'm very familiar with. Look at all that nice snow on the ground. Wish we could get that in the summer. But uh, yeah, here's our rival. He's going to go and run up to the root. He's not going to run up to the root. He's going to go back into his room. 
because oh geez he forgot something silly very forgetting things uh but yeah be sure guys to comment down below what you think of the series we'll have a comment question of the day let's see how about let's make it what's your favorite pokemon leave it down in the comments below i'll be happy to read it my favorite pokemon if you did not know it should be on my channel banner is lucario that's why i named myself the Sinnoh sage because I absolutely love the region of Sinnoh, and Lucario is my favorite Pokemon. So let me know what yours is down below, guys. Uh, we are going to head on over, and we're going to pick our randomized starters. I'm not sure how long I'm going to end up making these videos. Uh, I'll probably go for 20 to 30 minutes a video. That sounds like a nice, decent length. But uh, yeah, we're, I'm probably going to try playing up to where the Professor's Lab is. Guys, you may see... The screen glitched a little bit. I had to move over my emulator. Uh, and Barry is being the silly buffoon that he is, and he's running into the grass. You silly, silly buffoon. He's going to go, okay, here it goes on your marks. He didn't even say get set, this this fool. But hold it, who could that be? It's Professor Rowan. He is the word of wisdom. He's coming. What do you what's the meaning of this? He says. It's the old guy. That is incredibly rude of you, Barry. How could you say that? They try to go to the grass. Hmm, what to do? Alright, sorry for that cut, guys. Something just came up. But he is here saying, You two, you truly love Pokemon, do you? Uh, no, we don't actually love Pokemon. We're just playing the game. Well, you're not making any sense. Of course I'm not making any sense, you silly guy. lied. Of course we love Pokemon. I, you don't need to ask us multiple times. You can ask us a hundred times. Thank you, Barry. The answer will always be yes. Uh, let me know, guys, if you want me to do voices. I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier. But uh, yeah, if you guys wanted, I'd definitely, uh, I'd voice the characters. My voices are probably really bad, but you know, anything for my wonderful, wonderful subscribers. Anything that you want, I will do my best to make it happen. By the way, guys, I'm really bad at commentating. If you didn't know, I'm kind of rambling right now. So be sure to leave things down in the comment section below so I can talk about uh, anything really. I can't really think of anything right now. But anything you want me to talk about in the video, be sure to leave it down there so I can read it and perhaps talk about it in the next episode. But right now we have Dawn. I'm sort of just skipping to the text. And he says, go on, open the briefcase. All right, guys, this is the moment of truth. Usually the starters are Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup. But this is a randomized ROM. So we are going to have randomized starters. Hopefully we end up with something good. We're going to click on the case. I'm gonna open, drop everything. There's a Pokemon inside each one. Which one will it be? Okay, so you click on it and it will tell us what we have. We have the Sharp Claw Pokemon Weavile. Ooh, I would not be opposed to starting with a Weavile. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go on through here. We have the next one. It will be Ammonite. I don't know about an Ammonite. So far, both of our Pokemon are times four weak to something. Weavile is times four weak to fighting, and Ammonite is times four weak to grass. So far, the Weavile. The Weavile is looking pretty promising. Next we have the Headbutt Pokemon Rampardos. Hmm, we have pretty frail Pokemon as our starters. Nothing too strong, but also nothing too weak either. I think, however, I'm going to pick the Sharp Claw Pokemon Weavile. Barry is going to pick... He's going to pick the Ammonite, so I don't know how I feel about that. But uh, yes, as fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. I decided to start reading commentary out of nowhere. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in Sandsum Town, and now we'll be on our way. So they're going to walk off. Dawn is going to uh, follow him. She, I don't know why she had to say sorry, let me pass, because no one was in her way, but you know what? I appreciate her being so kind. Oh no, I'm not reading. What is he going to say? Hehehe, <laughs> John, we both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? No. What? Okay, he's just going to say the same thing. Yes, we are. We're going to go into our first Pokemon battle of the channel. I'm very excited to use my new Weavile. i got to think of a good name. Let's. We have to look at him. We have Strongman Barry doing the Fortnite dances on me. He's going to send out the Ammonite. We're going to see what our Weavile knows. Hopefully, it knows a Dark-type move. So we're going to click Fight, and it does not know a Dark-type move. This is actually probably going to take a while. I'm going to click Leer, and we're going to see what he's going to do to me. Weavile is a female Weavile. Uh, it's looking... Oh, he's gonna withdraw? Are you kidding me? This is going to take forever. I may have to, uh, speed up depending on how much my attacks do. Weavile does have pretty decent attack. Uh, and by the way, 
the Nuzlocke rules do not apply until I get Pokeballs because it would be really unfair if my Pokemon died before uh, I had a chance to catch anything to replace it. And I can't catch anything without Pokeballs, so it would be really annoying to have to forfeit my encounter for an area just because of the game not giving me what I need to play. But uh, he's going to keep withdrawing, so I'm just going to speed up real quick. And this is literally going to take forever, but... Weavile, this is a great start, already speeding up in the first battle. Weavile will eventually kill it, right? There we go. Weavile killed it, and Weavile gets a nice level. We have to start calling her something. I think I'm going to go and check her Pokédex entry. I'm really bad at coming up with, oh, we got two levels. We have a level 7 Weavile to start off the game. Not even bad. 22 attacks, that, that's obviously very nice. What are you saying? We ended up losing? Of course you did, because we have... You, the Weavile, I don't know what I'm going to call the Weavile yet. We're going to have to check his Pokédex entry. He's going to send me back to my house, and we're going to get a nice sleep after our tiring battle. I don't know why we had to take rest after our battle. We didn't do anything. We just stood there and barked orders at our poor Pokémon, who were battling to the death. But that's okay. We are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think what the wild Pokémon might have done to you two. I'm very bad at doing woman's voice, because my voice is pretty low. And, uh... It doesn't like to go very high, or else it cracks, and that's never fun. So my women, like my mom's voice, is probably going to sound extremely weird. We have running shoes. I don't know why we need shoes to run. We must be the most uncoordinated person in the world to need specific shoes just to run. Look at this. We're going so much faster with our running shoes. But really quickly, we're going to look at our Weavile. So we're going to check summary. Dark Ice type, of course. Gentle Nature. I'm not sure what Gentle does. He has Blaze. I also randomized abilities. Uh, so Blaze powers up fire moves in a pinch. Not really going to be too helpful. But uh, it's cool. We have a Weavile. Uh, it's nice that we have a Gen 4 Pokemon. As I said, Gen 4 is my favorite generation. We have Barry here being the silly man that he is. I forgot I have to check the dex entry. So I can uh, give my Weavile a nickname once I make it to the lab. So we're going to go, I don't have a Pokédex, that's right. So me and Barry, look at Barry, he doesn't even have a running animation, he just sort of like, picks up his feet and walks really, really fast, doing that powerful speed walking. I'm very proud of you, Barry, getting your exercise in, trying to keep up with me in my running shoes. I bet that's why, that's why Barry looks so ridiculous running, he doesn't have any running shoes. Uh, this is Cyrus. Cyrus, he's in the intro to the series. By the way, guys, let me know down below if you like the intro. I made it myself. It took days. It took two days to make. Uh, one day to make all of the art. I made the art myself. And one day to actually put the thing together. The What came out of it, I was pretty, pretty proud of. So let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section below. Uh, so he is going to look around because he heard a strange noise. Because obviously when you hear a strange noise, you run up, look for it, run back, and tell your friend there was nothing. I love this part. He says, we don't have any Pokeballs. Poke, P-O-K, accent E balls. This man with his spelling, he would have won the spelling bee so easily. I'm so proud of my friend Barry. Uh, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to see. Actually, no, no. I was going to see what was in this route to catch. Uh, we're going to save that for when we actually have Pokeballs to catch something. We are going to run up this way through the grass. We're probably going to encounter something here. We do, so we can see what we have a chance to find on this route. We have, a, we have a Vulpix, okay. I'm gonna speed up through this just because it's a wild battle. Of course, we got burned immediately. We have Blaze and we got burned. That's always fun to see. Uh, we have a Metagross. That's amazing. Shout out to Original151. That is his thing, the Metagross and the Metapod. Check him out. He's a really, I love watching his videos. He's a very fun guy. But uh, this person gives us a potion. Uh, which is always nice to have. Any potions will help in case we get low on health and are about to die. We can use a potion and recover our Pokemon back to, you know, a good health. So we have Dawn here. She's going to say, oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. So we're going to walk on in to the research lab. But no, we're not because Barry is thudding all over the place again. Just like when I walk into his house early, he keeps calling Professor Rowan an old guy. I would never disrespect my elders so much. Uh, oh, I just realized, since we don't have the Pokédex yet, we're going to have to think of a name for the Weavile uh, on the spot. I need to think about this, so let's see. Weavile. Weavile. Vile. You use vials in, uh, in chemistry. 
Uh, oh, what do they mean now? Okay, vials are using chemistry. Uh, chemistry is a science. Science you learn in school. Uh, school, you take the school bus. Uh, we're gonna name her... Minivan. I don't know why. It's, you know, a bus is a type of transportation. A minivan is a type of transportation. We're gonna name the wee while minivan. This is probably the worst name I've ever come up with. I told you I can't nickname anything. This is probably the worst, uh, nickname I've ever come up with in my life. I just named the Weavile Minivan. What is wrong with me? Uh, you know, I could name my Pokemon after my subscribers and commenters. So if you would like to be named after a Pokemon, or you'd like to pick a Pokemon name, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you'd rather me pick your name as a Pokemon, or leave a name for me to pick for the Pokemon. I know that's kind of confusing, but just... Comment down below if you want to be in for Pokemon, and I will make sure to get on that. Uh, I can't guarantee you a specific Pokemon because, you know, it's a randomizer. I have no idea what I'm going to find. But I will definitely name you after a Pokemon if you so desire. We got the Pokedex, so now we can check Minivan's Pokedex entry. I can't believe really I named my Pokemon Minivan. That was a really bad idea. But you know what? We have it now. Should I don't know if I'm including names in the layout, but it should be there right now. So that's always cool. 60 years he's lived with Pokemon. Uh, does that mean, I think Dawn will have a Rampardos, which is pretty cool. Uh, we don't, I think, we do battle Dawn. Do we battle Dawn? No, we don't battle Dawn at all in this game. But she does help us out sometimes, so that's pretty cool. So she's going to leave, and we are going to follow her. I think she's going to stop us outside there. She is stopping us with the professor. John, what? The amount of times people have yelled my name, TM27, I did randomize TM's, excuse me, uh, technical machine that you are allowed to use them to teach moves your Pokemon. I did not, however, randomize compatibility, so any mon that can learn return can also learn uh, the move that it's randomized to. So we're going to check what that is real quick. Maybe it'll be a cool ice or dark type move. Maybe we can get like, I don't know, dark. And that's not an attack. What am I thinking? Ice beam? Ice beam on a Weavile wouldn't really help. Ice punch. That's it. I really hope we get ice punch. Or crunch, even. Ice punch, crunch. The, the rhyming is real. Uh, but either of those work for Weavile. So we're going to let Dawn talk to us. She's explaining what these facilities do for us. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is check my TM, buy some Pokeballs, and catch my first encounter on the route prior to this. Uh, route 201, I believe. Uh, and then I think that'll be a nice place to call an episode, and I will return. Icy Wind, we did in fact get an Ice-type move. I think I'm actually going to teach that to my Weavile, because Minivan does not have any actual attacks right now. It'd probably be beneficial to have Icy Wind. We can get rid of Scratch, because Quick Attack and Scratch have the same base power of 40. The only difference is Quick Attack will always go first, and I'd much rather have that. Now we have Minivan, the Frozen... Pharaoh thing with uh with icy wind so that's always pretty cool uh we have pokeballs we can buy so we're going to buy 10 and that will officially start our pokemon platinum randomizer nuzlocke challenge i hope you guys are excited i know the video has already been going on for like 20 minutes but the challenge has finally started i bought my potions i'm going to run over i'll speed up a little bit I, never mind i'm missing the door okay i'm going to speed up and heal my weavile in the pokemon center can we just appreciate the platinum the Platinum Pokemon Center music. Bum, 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 bum. It's just so, so peaceful and nice to listen to. I could listen to that all day. The Pokemon Platinum soundtrack is i its just like one of the best soundtracks in any of the Pokemon games. But, without further ado, actually, I think I'd rather go back to the first patch of grass on Route 1. We are going to attempt to catch our first encounter. Can we get some powerful? We get a Miss Magius. I don't know how to feel about that. Another Gen 4 Pokemon. That's always nice to see. I do love Gen 4 Pokemon. It is a male Miss Magius. I think I will go for Icy Wind because we have such low special attack. I don't think an Icy Wind will kill the Miss Magius, right? Minivan can weaken a Pokemon without killing it. Minivan does perfect amount of damage. Gets it nice into the yellow. The lower you get the health, the easier it is to catch. Uh, so we're going to throw our Pokeball and hopefully add the Miss Maggie to our team. We did get a Premier Ball because we bought 10 Pokeballs. So that's always fun to see. We go 1, 2, 3, 
four. There it is. We have the Miss Magius. We have officially recruited our first new member to the team. We have Minivan, and let's see what its dex entry is. So maybe we can come up with a better nickname than Minivan. We have its cry. It sounds like an incantation. It is said that the cry may rarely be imbued with happiness giving power. Oh, that's so nice! Miss Magius is so nice. What are we gonna name Miss Magius? We need a nice name. We're gonna name you. We're gonna name you after a very nice person. We're gonna name you after Keanu Reeves. I hope I spell his last name right. But we're gonna name this Miss Magius Reeves, and it pretty. I think that fits him pretty well. A nice person after a nice Pokemon. Let's check out Reeves before we end off the episode. We have Reeves here. He's a serious nature. We have Volt Absorb, which is amazing. If we get hit with an electric type move, it doesn't affect us. So that is a nice electric resist. And we get HP back. So any electric types, I will definitely send out Mr. Keanu Reeves to take that. We have Growl, Psywave, Spite, and Astonish. So, that is a pretty nice start to our randomized Nuzlocke, and it seems like a pretty nice place to end. So I'm going to run over to a place where it looks nice. We're going to stop right here. So if you guys did enjoy the Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Maybe if you're feeling generous, leave a like. Uh, but that's going to be it for me today, guys. This has been the Sinnoh Sage, and I will see you all next time.